morning, everybody, and dear Western Guild Valley Board members. Thank you for coming and joining today's seminar. My name is Samson Wu for our uh, Pinnacle Real Estate Group. So, um, <clears throat> Talia Lai and I will be hosting Feng Shui Tip for 2023 with Master Alex Z. Please welcome our keynote speaker, Master Alex Z. I will pa pass the mic to Talia for Master Alex Z's bio. Everybody, Master Alex Z has been serving as Feng Shui article writer to Hong Kong Beauty Professional Magazine for eight years, Job 853.com monthly magazine for five years, and Megalite magazine. More than 8,000 learners have benefited from Master Alex's teachings. Master Alex is also a certified coach as well as a certified meditation and mindfulness teacher. And today we have refreshments sponsored by Maria Howard, Old Republic Home Protection. Now let's welcome Master C to start our speech. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thanks so much for having me here, thank you. Um, do you guys have some feeling about this year? Um, actually, it's something quite weird to me. Do you think that? Let's say, right now we are like a February, but every single morning when I wake up, I still feel, hey, it's so cold outside. So strange. We don't have it before, okay? Right? So this is something to me is not abnormal. And um, previously, we have, unfortunately, we have a, like a huge earthquake um, this is really, really upsetting me, and then it's so sad. So many people die. It's so like um, so it's so hurting everybody's heart. So this is not a really, really good one. And just like a previously, we in a like a lunar new year, like um period, we have the mass shooting in Montreal Park and the Half Moon Bay. To me, it's really, really shock because before. I think that, hey, American is really, really safe. Or let's say the mass shooting is not related to us. It's something like uh, in Texas, Virginia, or whatever. It's nothing to do with, with us. But this year, everything seems to be some change. And in the Asian community, we have that kind of shooting. It's really, really shocking me. And you know why? Because there may be some related to the current feng shui element here. And this year is actually the last period of the number eight in charge period. This year, 2024, which is the year of the water rabbit. And it's the last period for the number eight in charge period. So a lot of things will change. And I hope my prediction is wrong because if the earthquake happened in the early this year, it seems that there'll be more and more coming. So for us, we have to prepare ourselves, be safe. Don't go to other like um, unsafe location that will be not really good for us. Okay, this is the, the introduction for this. We call it the, the, um, the timing period for the feng shui. You know, in feng shui, it's not just stay here forever. It will change from time to time. And right now, we are actually in this, we call the number X in charge period. We are the last year. You can see that from the chart. The number X in charge period, which is from 2004 and up to 2024, which is the 20 year. Okay, in this 20 year, is number X in charge. And previously, it's a number seven in charge. And later one is a number nine in charge. So what's the number to us? What's the meaning to us? You can see that I put those original, like a letter, like a, a feng, feng shui book. You can see that San Ming Tong Wu. He said that Qian Zhou Kun Fu Han Yi Chou, Zhen Zhu Shun Gu Gan Zhou Lou, Dui Hou Li Mu Fen Ba Gua Fan Han Zhe Ping Si Zhong Gao. Allow me to ex explain to you in English. So this number eight is actually related to hand. I'm not sure whether you guys like a foot massage body massage for the lady, like an eyelash extension, nails a lot. It's so popular right now, right? And you know that before the nails a lot is not so popular and the foot massage is not so popular. Just because we are right now in this, we got the number eight in charge period. 
So this number eight in charge period is related to the hand. So every industry related to hand will be so popular. It's all related to this feng shui style. And for the previously, it's the number seven in charge. And number seven is related to the mouth. So I'm not sure whether you guys, but for me, I like to sing. I like to karaoke. But you, you know that for karaoke, they're so popular before, but not right now. It's gone. The timing is gone. But still, I like, I like it. Just because actually number seven is related to mouth. So karaoke will be so popular at that period, but not right now. It's gone. Okay, the most important. For the next year, the number nine will kick off and be the boss and in charge. And from the chart, you can see that for the number nine is related to fire, electricity, all those stuff. So in nowadays terms, which is all related to high test stuff, let's say AI, 5G, cybersecurity, programming. And right now, lots of people is talking about the chat G, GDP, right? Um, even your, your statement or whatever, you can use that AI to, to write it. You know, it's really, really like a, amazing. Lots of people have uh, some challenge. And right now, we can see that those AI, 5G, uh, cybersecurity, they're so important at this moment. And later on, starting from next year, will be more and more popular. You can imagine, you're driving your Apple car, everything is related to your cell phone, and it's all connected, it's so amazing. And even right now, we have a theory is called the cell phone feng shui. Before we want to know something about you, we still need to read your face, read your palms, date your birth. This is what I do for like a long, long time. If you want, you can call me, I'm here to help. But right now, just by your cell phone number, we know something about you. This is, we call the cell phone function. If you guys want, you can call me. We can run some tests free of charge. I can do some tests for you. Just by the cell phone number, we know that, hey, someone maybe have a, some divorce issue. Someone have a cancer issue. Someone have, can make a good money. Someone yourself have a really, really good people skill just because by the phone number. Okay, you, you can imagine like this. Today, you are going out for an event. Let's say you come here uh, to the board. And then you forget to bring your cell phone. So what happened? Lots of people will just go home and grab their cell phone. Because right now, we just we can't live without the cell phone. It's so related to us. And when number nine in charge, so starting from next year, that cell phone energy becoming more and more strong. So this is something amazing. And here, I just want to let you know that, hey, for the function, we have some timing issue. And this year is the end of this number X in charge period. So lots of things will change. Lots of disaster, lots of things will suddenly um, appear. So we have to prepare for that one. It's not really like a safe year, but um, we are good people. And if you want to have a better luck, do more like a charity, help more people, do more of, um, service to your community, that will definitely help. Okay, here is the secret. Okay, when the number X in charge period, we have a three really important concept. The first one is the Zheng Shen Fang, Zheng Shen Fang, which is in the Northeast. That Zheng Shen Fang is, if we have the mountain in the Northeast location, it's really, really good for our health, good for our population, good for the people. Okay, in Feng Shui, we are talking about two important concepts. The first thing is the mountain. It's all about the people, all about the population, the health. So the mountain related to health. And for the water, it's related to the money luck. And you can see that the, the mountain is, um, the, the mountain stays there. The Rocky Mountain stays there, you don't move. Because the mountain is not moving, but in the functional term points of view, we want to like a, have a, a balance between the yin and yang. So the mountain is not moving. So we want it to look like it's moving. So we use the dragon to represent the mountain. You can see the ups and down, turn left and right, turn around, all those shapes. Those are because we want the mountain to seem to be moving. 
Okay, and the water is moving, it's a liquid. Just like the Bruce Lee, when you play the Kung Fu, he will say that, hey, be water. This is the key for the Kung Fu, right? So water is a moving. So in the feng shui point of view, we don't want it to move. So we have a lot of feng shui concept and I will explain it to you later on, okay? Okay, let's talk about the mountain first. So with the mountain, it's good for our health, good for our population. And you can see that, okay, here we in American, it's a really, really excellent for the feng shui here. I'm originally from Hong Kong, but I love to stay here. You know why? Because the feng shui here is perfect. It's excellent. Okay, from this 29, 20 year period number eight, you can see that from our northeast location, actually for California, we are so lucky. We have two amazing mountains. We have the Mock Rocky Mountain, which is huge and amazing, starting from Canada and all the way go to the in New Mexico and all the way to the Mexico. So this is something amazing. And we also have this one, we call the Sierra Nevada. This Sierra Nevada is just for California. So in the number X in charge period, we have two mountains. So we can see that just for California itself, we have a really, really huge population because we have two mountains here. And this is really, really good for us. Okay. We talk about the mountain and the ocean is the more, most important. And you can see that there's a two location. The Southwest, if in number eight in charge period, if there's a water, is we call the Ling Shen Fang, Ling Shen Fang. With the water, it's good for money. And the other location is the East, we call the Jiao Shen Fang, Jiu Shen Fang. If there's a water, it's also good for money. But the Southwest, the water is more important. Okay. We can take a look for here. We have an excellent water energy there because we have the biggest ocean close to us, which is the Pacific Ocean. So that's why just for California, we have a strong economy, just like a, the, um, the uh, just like a country, the economy for us is so strong. One of the reasons is because we have a really, really good like an ocean and water element over there. And you can see that for American, we are really lucky because we are all surrounded by the water element. On our West Coast, we have the Pacific Ocean. And then on our East Coast, we have the Atlantic Ocean. Also, one is the, the first one, and then the other is the second large ocean. Okay, and then you can also see that we have the Gulf of Mexico over there. And then we have that five like um, area on the north, on the northeast. So those are even more important. Those are the fresh water. And for the function element, we know that there's a, we call the five element concept. So the wood element will generate the fire element, and then the fire element will generate the earth, and then the earth element will generate the metal, and the metal finally generate the water element. So to kick off, to start that cycle, we need to use the wood element. And the wood element also represents the springtime. So in order to water the wood to start the wood element, we need to water it, but we cannot use the ocean water. So the shorty water is not really good for the wood element. We need to use the fresh water, just like that five lake area. Those are the biggest water reserve on the planet. So that's why you can see that for our economy, we are so strong on the East Coast. And our economy starting from the East Coast first, one of the reasons, of course, we have uh, some historical reason is that the immigrant from the Europe, they landed on the East Coast first. But for the feng shui point of view, it's because the fresh water, the biggest one, is actually on the East. So it helped the development for the economy on the East Coast. But for us, don't worry, we, for all, all the whole American, we have a really, really good like water element. Okay, this is the history and more important. Okay, starting from next year, so this is for the number nine in charge period, which is in charge from 2024 and up to 2044. Okay, and you can see that on the south, if we have a mountain, it's good for our population. But for us, we can't do that. There's nothing we can do. And there's a two location. If there's a water element, it's good for the money luck. The first one is on the north, 
and then the second is on the southeast. So back to this chart, you can see that for the next period is actually the Chicago, Michigan, all those Ohio, all those states, because on the north, there's the fresh water. So over there, the economy will so strong. And the southeast, the southeast, if we have some water element, is also good for our population. So we can see that Texas, Florida, Atlantic, all those East Coast, in the next 20 years, the economy you will have a, something amazing happen. But for us, don't worry, we still have a really, really good fundamental um, uh, economy style, so don't worry. But all the Americans will be really, really good. Okay, this is what I used to predict the pandemic before. So when the time is, um, I still remember it's uh, in 2019, one of the one of the guy one of the guys just asked me, hey master, what do you think about next year? Then um, at that time is uh, I just finished an event and I'm walking out to the to the hall. So I walked with him and he asked me that question. Then I stop it and I turn around and look at him and I ask, okay, you really want to know? He said, yeah, yeah, of course. Tell me what happened next year. And I tell him, hey, next year, lots of people will die. And he was so shocked because at that time, there's a no pandemic concept, nothing. Everything is just fine. People just do the normal life living. So, and unfortunately, the pandemic hit us and there's a, some unexpected thing happened. And here is the secret why I can predict the pandemic Actually, is uh, using that we call the demo game. Is that that yan man to bo jut? The English meaning is there's a lot of people will die at 2020, and he also said that san tao hei mo di. A lot of new wave will show up at 2020. So this is the prediction for the pandemic. Okay, the more important for us, 2023 right now, what happened? He said that yan man to jut be. A lot of people will get sick. Health is a huge issue to us. Of course, we have other issues, but health is the number one concern. So make sure you have a, like a good, like a living, um, a, a, a balance between work and life, and then do some regular exercise, do some meditation, even Tai Chi, you will help. Okay, and lots of people will say that, hey, I love my home, it's a south facing. But you can see that for this, we can't, uh, when we feng shui um, our home, normally we'll use this um, feng shui compass. I bring one here. So if the people are in, in person, you can come here and take a look and then we'll use it um, to show you. And because right now we have lots, lots of people is online. So let me just stand here and explain to you. And from this picture, you can see that, hey, 190 is south facing and 191 is also south facing. Actually, the whole south location is 45 degrees from 157.6 to 202.5. It's huge, like a session, but only one degree different. You can see that 190 and 191. Actually, the reading, those latter over there is different. Okay, only 1% different. There is some different. So this is the function. So if you ask me, hey, what do you think about my home? My home is south facing. So as a professional function master, I will say, hey, you, you're talking about your home is self-facing. But how self it is? Because 190 is self-facing and 191 is also self-facing. And only one degree different, there will make some difference. So you can see the chart over there, the function compass over there. So we will need more understanding for your home. But for the general function setting, what we're going to do is we will stand in the middle of the home and then we'll put that, okay, the north is at the back. We just try to turn the map upside down. But the, the north is still the north. The south is still the south. But we do that, this is a, like a feng shui style. So we have the yeast on our left-hand side. This is our left dragon. And then the west on the right-hand side, this is our white tiger. So we have the last dragon and white tiger concept. But the most important is, okay, when we go back to, when you go back to your home, you want to do some current function setting for your home. So what you're going to do is you go to the middle for your home and then find the north 
and then do other feng shui setting, okay? So, which is so simple. You can go back to your home and then use your cell phone and find out the north location. This is important. And you can go back, go to the middle of the house and do the feng shui setting over there. Okay, this is really amazing. So you can see that in the feng shui, we are talking about the one to nine. So this is, we call the later haven bagua theory. And this one to nine in this chart actually is not changing. So what we are going to do is, okay, we use our left hand, the first, the, these three fingers, one, two, three. And you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We use this nice square to represent. Okay, what we are going to do is we put a five here. Okay, normally I would charge a premium to teach, but here we're in the box, so I just let you know. Okay, we have put the five here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, just like you're dancing. So this is the later heaven back one, it won't change. So this is for your information. Okay, and the most important, so this five element concept we mentioned, okay, this is the most important. This is the function setting for this year. And this year, the number will change, lots of things will change. You can see that we put the number four here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four. So what we are going to do is, okay, we go to your home, go back to your home, and then we find the north, you can use, this cell phone to find, hey, let's say for this room, the north is actually here. So this is easier for us. If we stand here, the north is over there. So this is the east, this is the south, this is the west. Then we can do the function setting here. So we put our finger here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three. So the north is at the back. So we put the finger like this, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three. So here in the middle of the of this room, number four is here. Okay, and north number nine is at that corner, and number eight is at that corner. Number six is here. Number two is over there. Over there is number three. Here is number one, and in this corner is number five, and over there is number seven. So this is the if we want to function. This room, we're going to do that. Actually, because the cameras, there's some limitation, I should move in the middle, but just pretend I'm in the middle. So the camera, you can see me. And for the in-person um, member, you can also see me, okay? So what we're going to do is, okay, we stand, imagine this is the middle. Actually, it's over there. But because the camera there, so we imagine here is the middle of your home. So we stand here, the north is up at the back. So what we're going to do is, this is something important. Okay, for this year, that corner is the most important, the south, because we can see that the number X is, and is in the south corner. So this is the money luck. This is the most important, is that corner. And for this problem, actually that door is the most important. This door, when you come in and out, you bring the money back to yourself and to the board. So this is the important. And for your home, the south is excellent because this year is the number X is over there. And number X is all related to the money luck, to related to those um, like a money fortune. So let's say for your home, the south, if let's say your front door is to the south, use it more often or the garage door is in the south, use that door more often, or the back door is south, use that door more often. That will definitely help you to boost your money luck. This is so important. Or you can do that. Because the number X is related to the money luck, so lots of things we can do. And you can see that this number X is actually belong to the earth element. And originally for south, for the later haven backward, is related to the fire element. So this year is really, really lucky. This number X is enhanced by this fire element. So we'll make this money luck even more strong. So what you're going to do is, okay, in this south corner, 
you can add a water fountain. Then it can help to boost the money luck. The biggest the water fountain, the biggest the money luck. But you need to choose, okay, make sure that the water fountain is going to, okay, the best way is the water is running to your master bedroom. This is so important. Because traditionally, the master bedroom is the most important in your home. You know why? Because for a normal person, we sleep like an eight hour a day. So one third of our time, we stand on the bed. So if your master bedroom, the function is excellent, no problem. You don't need to do anything. Every single night, you just lay down to your bed. The good feng shui energy is blessing you, enhancing you, give you good luck. You don't need to do anything. Just every single night, lay down to your bed, get some rest. Then you will blessing from the good luck feng shui energy. So this is amazing. But on the other hand, if let's say your master bedroom, the feng shui is horrible. Every single night, you're suffering. Headache, nightmare, your dog is barking in the middle of the night, your husband is kicking you off the, the, the bed, your, your wife is making noise. So all those things have some issue because one of the reasons is the master bedroom, the function you need to enhance it. So the master bedroom is actually so important. It, it affects you like a one third of your time. And right now, your cell phone is even more important because it's affecting you 24 seven. So this is more important. But for us, for the current function setting, what we're going to do is in the south location, we put the water fountain over there and make sure that the water is running to your master bedroom. The most important is to your bed. Okay, if you want to do it in your office, make sure that the water is running to your desk. It means that the money is going to your pocket and you can hold it. So this is important. And for the water fountain, what we're going to do is we need to choose some, the water is running slowly. It's not making so too much noise. We want to, water is running slowly. And we also want to make sure that the water is in good quality. And then the water, um, the, the container over there is deep enough so can store more water, it means it can store more money luck for this water fountain. And it will definitely help. Or you can even further enhance it. Okay, you can imagine. You put the water fountain in the middle of the south and on the left-hand side and right-hand side, you put two like a water bamboo, two, um, two ways of water bamboo. And one uh, each of them, there's uh, eight pieces over there. So we further enhance the money luck over there and you will definitely help, okay? So this is so important for the self. Or even you can also have put some light over there to further enhance this number X, that will definitely help. Or some water, uh, some money luck um, deck, um, uh, decoration, you can also put it over there. Like uh, the money god or the pisio, you can also put it over there, you will help. Okay, the next important corner is over there, the north. So this number nine is so important for next year. But right now, it already shows some like um, importance for this number nine. And if you want to find your true love, you need to use this number nine. If you want to have a, some, have a baby, you need to make use of this number nine. If you want to have a better money luck, you need to make use of this number nine. This number nine is we call the month, the start of uh, the celebration. Anything happiness, anything good is all related to this number nine. And this year it go all the way to the north. And you can see that for the north, originally it's belong to the water element, and the water is against the fire. So imagine in a, like a uh, in 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 the old time previous time, when there's a fire, we use the water to extinguish the fire. So the water is against the fire. So over there, we need to do something. So what we're going to do is we can put some wood element, put some plants over there and become, okay, from the child, you can see that water is against the fire. But if there's a wood in between, it becomes a good connection. The water will generate the wood and then the wood will further generate the fire and make this number nine even better. So at the north corner, we need some 
plants over there. Water bamboo is the is a good choice or money tree or any tree, indoor tree with the leaf is big and round shape. It's good to decorate in the north and it will help. And you can also further enhance it, put some lights over there to further enhance this number nine or put some wet decoration over there, wet carpets, wet uh, pillows over there. You will further enhance it, okay? This is something important. The next thing we need to pay attention is this number five. The number five for this year, it go to the Northwest, that location. So this number nine, uh, number five is related to we call the start of a disaster. Will make you have uh, some like a um, lot of issue, health issue, uh, money losing issue, lots of uh, disaster issue. And this number five is belong to the earth element. And originally, this those Northwest is belong to the metal element. So it's, we are lucky because this number nine, number five, go to the Northwest corner is, and is um, the energy, the damaging energy is minimized by this Northwest location. But if you want to further minimize it, something you can do is you can put lots of a, like a metal element in this Northwest location, then you will help further uh, minimize this number five. And some tips I can share with you. What you're going to do is you can change this number five from damaging energy into good luck energy. So what we're going to do is, okay, in this corner, the Northwest corner, you can buy or you can make yourself a treasure bowl, just like a, some metal container with the cap over there. And you can put all those coins inside. Let's say if you want to earn US dollar, you can put the quarter penny over there. If you want to earn the Canadian dollar, you can put some Canadian coins. You, if you want to earn a Mexican dollar, you can put some Mexican coin over there. If you want to do the international business, just every Europe, uh, Japanese yen, uh, Korean uh, dollar, Chinese dollar, put all over there and make it a treasure bowl, put it in the Northwest location. Then you will help to minimize this number five and enhance your money luck. It will definitely help. And the next step we are going to talk about is this number two. Number two this year is go all the way to the east. So it's that location. And that location is also the Tai Shui over there. So make sure that on the east, you don't want to do any renovation over there. You want, don't want to take a hole, uh, punch the, uh, the wall, or do some like a, a crazy thing over there. And in the east location, because the Tai Shui is over there, so we want to make it clean and clean, no trash bin over there no shoes, no stinky smell. Um, we also, because um, on the yeast is the number two is over there. The number two is we call the start of health issue, start of a sickness. So on the yeast, make sure that your uh, medical report, we don't want to put on the yeast for all those like uh, pills or drugs. We don't want to put it on the, on the yeast. So it will help. And this number two, is belong to the earth element. And originally, the yeast is belong to the wood element. So we are lucky this number two is weakened when you go to the yeast. But if you want to further minimize this damaging number two energy, what you're going to do is you can also make a treasure bowl and the bowl, you can use a metal container and put all of cons and make sure you have a cap to cap it and put it over there on the yeast you have to minimize this number two and you help you to have a better luck. Okay, one more tips. If you want to have a more money luck, what you are going to do is, we always say, say that if you want to make more money, what you're going to do is you need to donate more, to give more to the charity, help more community, then you will come back just like a, a cycle. You, you, you give more, you take more. So what you're going to do is, for the South is the money corner. So what we're going to do is, you can put your piggy bank in the South and then every single day, you can insert like a sub quarter, one, 
to feed, put feed quota into the piggy banks. And when the piggy banks are full, you can donate it to any charity you like. You can donate the corn or climb the corn and donate the dollar bills to the charity to help you enhance your money luck. And because every single day you're doing free good things for the community, so one year you do more than 1,000 good things. 10 years is 10,000. It's huge, it's extra. What you are going to do is you keep doing, but you do something extra. So you help to enhance your luck. Okay. Okay. The next thing I would like to mention is lots of people don't realize it. This is the fee killings. Fee killings this year, it go to the West. So what's the fee killings? Okay. Let me show it to you. Okay. This, this year fee killing is going to the West. Lots of people don't understand. This fee killing is actually have a lot of a, like a damaging energy. Again, I put this traditional feng shui book for you. And you said that the yearly fee killings, you need to pay attention. And the monthly fee killings is even more important. You said that you sat on your chin yi, yi hang but yi jaw, fan jat hung wo la yi, chi jay yi. So the meaning is this monthly fee killings, it will change every single month. And you cannot act against it. If you do something to offense it, you will have the bad luck. The later is one month, but sometimes it's a few days you will feel the bad luck. So it's really, really strong. So don't try to piss off with this fee killings. Okay, and here is the detail. This is really, really important because in this rapid month, which is from March 6th to April 5th this year, from July 7th to August 8th this year, from November 8th to December 7th, in this fee period, the monthly fee killings go to the rest. And the yearly fee killings is also go to rest. So for this war, if you, in this period, you drill a hole, you do some renovation here, you will have a bad luck. So don't do that. Stay away. Don't touch the rest in this period, okay? Okay. In this period, from February 4 to March 6, from June 6 to July 7, from October 8 to November 8, the, the, uh, the uh, monthly fee killings go to the north. So it will change. Okay, from April 5th to May 6th, from August 8th to September 8th, December 7th to June 6th, not this year, next year, the monthly fee killings go to the south. Okay, for the next period, May 6th to June 6th, September 8th to October 8th, June, uh, January 6th next year, okay, not, not this year, to February 4th next year the monthly fee clearings go all the way to the east. So it will change. Make sure that in that period, don't do the renovation, don't put your stinky shoes or, uh, or, 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 or do something funny in that area. That will definitely help, okay? For the rest, you can go to my website and go to my YouTube channel. I put um, the yearly feng shui tips and the so they luck over there. This is called practical feng shui by Master Alexi. There are more detail you can see that because right now the timing is not really enough. So I can't go for every single one. But go to my website and go to my YouTube channel. You can see more detail. Okay, if you want, you can also download this feng shui tips for 2024 from my website, free of charge. You have a more idea. Let's say how to set up your home office, how to set up your master bedroom this year, how to set up a um, uh, uh, lucky business meeting. There's lots of tips over there. You can go there, download it, take a look. It's totally free of charge. Just go to my website and you can go get it, okay? Or if you want to learn something more systematic, I have a book called Practical Function 101. You can go to buy from Amazon.com. This year, there's a lot of ups and downs, and then the market is not really stable. So I want to emphasize this staging um, 
concept to you, which is, I think it's so important at this moment. Okay, for the staging, what you can choose is the painting is so important. It brings up all the energy, all the value for those are lucky and unlucky. So we need to pack the painting really, really carefully. So first of all, we don't want to put some painting like this. Yeah, it's not Halloween. It's not Halloween style. We don't want to scare the kid. We don't want to scare the couple. So nothing negative, nothing horrible is in your open house, okay? Make sure that you don't show that. Um, something good is, let's say you can put a Y picture with Y. Y is good because people can come to home and get some enjoyment. So this is a good function. Or some flower, flower is good. It, it brings us a good atmosphere, good energy, especially this archery because the flower is long lasting. And even for the, for the painting, can bring a good energy for your home. Or a picture with the, the fruit, apple, strawberry, orange, those fruits. Fruits are so important. Flower is the process, is nice, is beautiful. But fruits are the result, are the money luck. So it's more important. You can also put a picture of nuts. That one is a really, I like it. Especially if your soda is a ox, gold, rooster, rabbit. Those are the, your, your food and it's your money luck. You pick a, put a picture like this and there's a sun over there. With the sun, it's so important. You bring up the good energy. But here is a question. If let's say, if you have a picture like this with the sun, but you don't know whether it's a sunrise or sunset. So what we are going to do? So if let's say for me, if I go back to China and help those uh, nightclub bar to function their, their shop, I will ask the boss, hey, you need to put this picture on the west. You know why? On the west is a sunset. So after the sunset is the nighttime their business will come. And for you as a builder and affiliate, and for me as a function master, we need more positive energy. So we're going to put the picture on the east. So it means the sunrise. Then you have a good timing. You have a good morning, lunch, tea time, and even a dinner time for you to finish your business. So it's good for you. A picture with the sun is really good with the positive energy. Or a picture with the ocean at the beach, so relaxing. Okay, you can put that in the front, put some picture with the water element, and then at the back, put some picture with the mountain, tall building, something like that, that will help. A picture with the seagulls is also good because uh, this lovely bird fly a long way and catch the food and feed their family just like your customer go a long way and then make more business and come back from you and buy more house and buy more service from you. Now, this is the best picture for me. I really, really like it. You know, for function, we are talking about water element, but we don't want to have a too strong water element. You can see that this water is a steady, still, and it's clean, so it's good function energy. And more important is you can see a beach, a round shaped one. This beach is, is just like you as the middleman. You connect the buyer and seller together and you close the ESCO and get the job done. So it's good for you. Okay, if your home stay there for a long time, you can't sell it. So what you're going to do is you need that kind of picture. Although the water element is too strong, but it's good for you to push the sales and then to just sell, sell the house as far as possible. It will help. Okay, and the furniture is also so important. So this is a good idea. Make sure that the furniture you use for your open house is something soft, something like a warm color and give you a warm, warm, like a warm uh, atmosphere. Actually, for the grass, I would recommend you use as little as possible because those are cold ones. And also, those marble wood, metal, steel, stainless steel, something like that, try to use it as, min as minimal as possible because those ones will bring a really cold atmosphere for your open house. 
we want something warm. We, we want you to sell it as fast as possible. And we want your customers to step in and have those feelings. Hey, this is my home. I like it. I have like a feeling of the home. Just like the lighting, if you can choose, we, can, we recommend you choose something like a warm lighting. Something from uh, 3,500 to 4,000 is good. Something more than 5,000 degree is too cold one. Okay, the bed especially don't use that steel material. It's too cold, especially for your open house. A round table is a really, really good, especially can bring a good energy for your open house. Okay, for the front door, what you can do is make sure that the left and the right, at least you can put some two plants, just like our left dragon and white tiger to supporting us. A wet carpet is good, and especially with that one, welcome one. Okay, when you open the front door, if you can see something nice, a nice picture will be good, or a nice flower is also good. Okay, for your own house and office, I will recommend you use the real one. Don't use the fake one because it's good energy. But for your open house, we will... Um, make a balance, okay? Use something like a artificial, but looking really, really well can also serve the job because you are not living in the open house, but you can get the job done. Because if you use the real flower, maybe it will bring you some headache for you for your open house. So we use those like a looking really, really well, artificial flower for your open house. So when there's open house, bring that from your garage. After that, bring it back. It's good for you. It's easier for you to handle. Okay, here is some common function issue and here is some solution for you too. Okay, if let's say, if let's say your open house is in this T session. Right now, even though like a traditional American people, they don't like the T session because they accident um, the health, uh, the, the accident issue and then the safety issue. So what you're going to do is, if it is your own house, I would recommend you on the first layer, you plant some like a fresh grass on the first layer. And then on the second layer, you can plant some like a free fish bush in the middle. And at the last layer, you grow some privacy hedge at least six feet, just like a step, stepping up. It seems that your business and your money luck is going up and up and up. It's good for you. And it's good to stop those like a bad luck energy for this tea session. But this is only for your own house, okay? For the open house, you have no time to do that. Okay, you can see that this is a post office in Montreal Park. What they're going to do is they're facing a tea session. So they put some plants in front. You help a little bit, but not so effective. Or you can use some curtain bright to, to block it. It also helps a little bit, but just um, not too really effective. But something you can do for your open house, if you have a van, park your van outside. If you have a truck, park the truck outside. That is the best. If you have an RV, park the RV outside, block the tea session, and at least your customer, when they take a look outside from the window, they can only see the RV. They, they, can, they can barely see the tea session. You help you uh, bring up the value for the property and help to more safety. Just imagine if the drunk driver, they want to hit, he want to hit your house, you hit the RV first before hitting your house. So it bring you more safety concern. Okay. Lots of people will say, hey, my open house is a, like a, the front door and the back door is like the same line. So what we are going to do is, it seems that the money luck is, money is coming and go, coming and go, coming and go. It's not really good for the money luck. So what we are going to do is, you can put some plants like this. Imagine this, like a, the front door and back door is the same line, just like a row or a corridor. This is because uh, we consider as a virtual water. All the street, 
or the road, all those traffic, the people walking, is a virtual water. The water is moving, but we want the water to stay. So we want to make it like a C shape to make, like let the water and element, water energy stay there and bring you the good energy. So we can put some plants and then put the round table at the back to store the good energy. Okay, if let's say, if your open house, the bedroom number three, if let's say it's facing the, the restroom, people maybe don't like it. And this bedroom number three, the door is hitting up the headboard area. So it's not really good for the function. If let's say this is your own house, you can change the bed from the left to the right hand side, it will help. But for your open house, if you really um, not feeling good, you can use something to block it. A womb divider is a good idea. Okay, if you open the front door, you can see a stair like this. People now, they, 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 they're smart, they know that, hey, this is not good for the money luck because the money is just flushing out. So what you're going to do is, actually, you can talk to your client like this. If they really like that property, what they're going to do is they can buy it and then later on, they can do some um, renovation, change the uh, staircase direction, build a wall to block it, and over the wall you can uh, have uh, some space to put up the crystal plants picture. It will definitely help. Okay, if your home is like this or the open house is like this, you see that all the corner is gone, is missing. So we call it the missing corner, and the missing corner is so important, especially for your own house. If let's say your house, the northwest corner is missing, it's not really good for the daddy. This is the daddy corner. If your house, the southwest corner is missing, it's not really good for the mom. But just for simple, for your open house, use something to fill up. I, I don't care whether you put a trash bin or plants or whatever, just to fill up that space, that will definitely help. The best is good. Let's say put a plant is good. If you can't find anything, just find some stuff to fill up, then you will help. Okay, here is some example for the feng shui uh, station. Okay, if let's say we have a floor pan like this. So what we're going to do is, okay, for the front door, we can put a wet carpet like this. Make sure that the welcome size like this, just like we're driving, you welcome the customer to come in and stay there as long as possible and finally give you a good offer, okay? And here for this floor pan, because the restroom is close to the front door, so what we're going to do is we can put some plants over there, put some dry flower, like let's say lavender, put some good sands, close the door, it will definitely help. And for that area, we can put a picture of the fish. It's good because fish is also the money luck. And you can make sure that the fish is swimming inside. It means that the money that is going inside is not going out. Okay, and that picture, if let's say it's the yeast, you can put a picture with the sun and then it's a mature wet field. So it's good for the money luck. And you can also put a picture of the flower at that corner that will help. And for, for the dining table, put some fruit over there. Okay, because... um. Is uh, your open house, you can put some real one because after that, you can enjoy the fruit. And for the coffee table, you can put a flower over there. And other corner, you can put some plants, water, bamboo, money tree, that will definitely help. And it's an open house, so I'm, I don't care whether you use a real one or fake one because it's open house. You can, up to you. But for your own house, make sure that you use the real one. Okay, for the main bathroom, Again, we put some plants over there, put some dry flower. And then for the master bedroom, we put a, like a wet roses dry one to bring up the romantic sense. And we need some wet pillows, a wet, lovely bed sheet that would definitely help. And for the study room, uh, uh, for the baby's room, we can put a baby picture and then a teddy bear and then a book over there that would definitely help. 
and make sure that your open house, we don't want to make it like a cute silence. Some music is good. Jazz is a good idea. Smell is also good. If you want to provide some food, hot food is more than a cold sandwich. Okay, and use this concept, that will definitely, for that concept, maybe I can share with you later on, okay? Um, the time is almost. So any, any question? Uh, yes, uh, we have some virtual question here. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Um, let's start with the virtual one first, and then we will come to the live question. Um, I have one here. Um, she asked, is this a time of day that we should use to determine our home direction? Um, time and night days. Time? Yeah, they have, um, he writes, uh, morning or nighttime shows different direction. So is there a special, uh, specific time of day that we should use to determine our home direction? Oh, no, the home direction is the same. The north is the north, the south is the south. It won't change from the time. Just the function energy, it will change from time to time. So we need to uh, do it accordingly, that will help. And more important, we need to calculate your days of breath too. Because let's say this whole, this room, maybe it's good for me, but it's not good for everybody. Because every single one, our days of breath is different. So we need to calculate that too. Thank you. Yeah, life. Life question. Yeah, Amy is talking about the south. Is let's say it's not a door, it's a wall. So what we are going to do to decorate it to make it function good, good energy. So again, um, we can put some water fountain over there, plants over there, uh, something red, something lighting over there. This year it can help to enhance the luck over there. Um, the real water is more important. Yeah. Fresh water. Uh, yeah, like the fountain. Oh, and by the way, this is uh, my Google review. If you want, you can help me go there, function by master energy, give me a five star rating, that will definitely help. If you want me to do something the same to you, let me know. I will do it for, for you too. We, we help each other. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have a sponsor we need to talk about? Yeah. Okay, let me. Oh, one more question. Sorry. Yeah. Alex, uh, is there something we can do when we experience a string of bad things happening around us? Example, like parents getting ill, laid off from jobs, no hourly sales transactions for three months, people hit my car, stole my money, not pay me for debt. It doesn't seem to stop. So should we see you or just accept them as part of life? Let's assume we already tried to get the house staged appropriately for good feng shui. Is it my life's determined for this period before things will improve? Accept the bad luck. Thanks for the good advice. Okay, let me explain to you. Um, for me, my job is just like, um, um, okay, you, you see, the, um, the job duty for a daughter is, let's say your body got some issue, you go to visit a daughter and your daughter fix your health issue. For me, I'm just like uh, some expert to help you to fixing the function issue. So any function issue, you can call me and then I will help you to fix it. And you can see that the lucky number is over there, 626 Anything you want to fix it, you want to improve it, this is a lucky hotline for you and I'm here to help you. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you. And thank you everyone for joining today's Feng Shui Tip for 2023 seminar and our keynote speaker, Alex C. With um, Good Luck Universe. Both uh, future classes and seminars, please visit our West St. Gabriel Valley Realtor website. Again, I appreciate your time and thanks to Master Alex C. This in, should you share this informative feng shui tips with us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
her company, what kind of business she is doing. Hi, Maria. Okay. No, this is not for Maria. Isn't. Um, okay. Okay. Let me just with a very simple brief rep, uh, introduction of uh, Maria. Maria Howard with the uh, All Republic Home Protection, and she is uh, our sponsor for today. So if uh, you are here and have uh, some question about, you know, uh, the home protection, that means a home warranty, okay? She represents for that. Her contact phone number 626-372-4040. And uh, her email address, M-A-R-I-A-H at O-R-H-P dot com. So we really appreciate uh, her sponsorship. And uh, we would like uh, you all enjoy today's Master Alex Xi's uh, presentation. And uh, we, our education committee, always organize and schedule all those uh, seminars for all of you. If you do have uh, some specific topic, please do contact us and let us arrange and organize to have the seminar for all of you. Again, thanks a lot. And today I do bring some gifts, but I'm sorry for all on Zoom attendees, only for in person, okay? We, we don't need to draw it. Everybody can have one, okay? Yeah, and after, after that also, Master Alex also offers three books he writes. And whoever is interested or you want to with a, oh, just wrap it, okay? And also Master Alex business card is over there. If you have any question and all on Zoom attendees, uh, we really ap appreciate your attending, but we cannot share all those gifts to you. So thank you. Hope you all have a good time. Will you please all come up and take a group picture. <laughs>